Hello class, how are you? I hope everyone is doing great. It's me again, Sir Noel, as your virtual teacher, helping you to clarify the third quarter business finance topics. The week 7 topic is all about capital budgeting. For this lesson, I will demonstrate how to apply mathematical concepts and tools in computing for finance and investment problems. This includes the payback period and net present value. To assist you in answering your modified assessment, we'll be using Microsoft Excel to calculate the required value. Are you ready? Let's start! For example number 1, calculate the net present value using the following information and a 10% cost of capital. The outflow is 1.2 million pesos and we have an inflow of 375,000 for each year for 5 years. Letter A. Compute the net present value. Letter B. Should the project be accepted? Why? To begin with, we need to input all values in the Microsoft Excel. Input all inflows, 375,000 for year 1 to year 5, and the outflow amount which is 1.2 million pesos. We'll be using the formula in Excel to calculate the net present value. NPV, the discount rate, comma, all inflows value. Let us solve it. Equal sign, type NPV, then Double click the NPV. Open parenthesis. The discount rate, which is 10%, comma. Highlight now all inflow values from year 1 to year 5. Then close parenthesis. We have now the NPV formula result of 1,421,545.04. This is the net present value of all the inflow values. The initial investment or outflow is 1.2 million pesos. To get now the net present value, we will get the difference between NPB formula result and the initial investment. 1,421,545.04 minus 1.2 million pesos. Our NPV is 221,545 and 4 cents. Will we accept the project? The answer is yes, as long as the NPV is positive and an independent project. We will be accepting this project. Example number 2. You are weighing two mutually exclusive projects with the following cash flows and a discounted price of 7.5%. This is for Project A and for Project B. Calculate the payback period of each project. Next, compute the net present value of the two projects. For the last, which project should be accepted? Let us compute first the payback period of each project. We need to input all inflows and outflow values of each project. For project A, year 0 or outflow of 14 million is given. For inflows, year 1, 4.5 million pesos, year 2, 3.7 million, year 3, 5.1 million, and year 4, 3.5 million. For project B, year 0 or outflow of 14 million is given. For inflows, year 1, 3.9 million, year 2, 4.2 million, year 3, 6.3 million, and year 4, 2.5 million. We need to calculate the cumulative net cash flow for each period. Cumulative net cash flow is the sum of inflows to date minus the initial outflow. For project A, year 1, 4.5 million minus 14 million 
we have a negative 9.5 million. For year 2, 3.7 million plus 4.5 million minus 14 million, we have a negative 5.8 million. For year 3, 5.1 million plus 3.7 million plus 4.5 million minus 14 million, we have a negative 0.7 million. For year 4, 3.5 million plus 5.1 million plus 3.7 million plus 4.5 million minus 14 million, we have a positive 2.8 million. For project B, for year 1, 3.9 million minus 14 million, we have a negative 10.1 million. For year 2, 4.2 million plus 3.9 million minus 14 million, we have a negative 5.9 million. For year 3, 6.3 million plus 4.2 million plus 3.9 million minus 14 million, we have 0.4 million. For year 4, 2.5 million plus 6.3 million plus 4.2 million plus 3.9 million minus 14 million. We have a positive 2.9 million. To get the payback period A plus B divided by C, where A is the last period number with a negative cumulative cash flow, B is the absolute value that is value without a negative sign of cumulative net cash flow at the end of the period A. And letter C is the total cash inflow during the period following period A. For project A, our A is 3 since it is the last period number with a negative cumulative cash flow. Our B is 0 0.7 which is the absolute value since it is the cumulative net cash flow at the end of period A. Our C is 3.5 since it is the total cash inflow during the period following period A. For project B, our A is 2 since it is the last period number with a negative cumulative cash flow. Our B is 5.9, the absolute value, since it is the cumulative net cash flow at the end of period A. Our C is 6.3 since it is the total cash inflow during the period following period A. The payback period for project A is 3 plus 0 0.7 divided by 3.5. We have 3.2 years. The payback period for project B is 2 plus 5.9 divided by 6.3 we have 2.9 years. To get the NPV of the two projects, we need to input all values in Microsoft Excel. Input all inflows for year 1 to year 5 and the outflow amount for each project. We'll be using the formula in Excel to calculate the net present value. For project A, equal sign, type NPV, then double-click the NPV, open parenthesis, the discount rate which is 7.5%, comma, highlight all inflow values from year 1 to year 5, then close parenthesis. We have now the NPV formula result of 14,113,877.94. This is the net present value of all the inflow values. The initial investment or outflow is 14 million pesos. To get now the net present value, we will get the difference between NPV formula result and the initial investment. 14,113,877.94 minus 14 million pesos. Our NPV for project A is 113,877.94. Same procedure for Project B. 
equal sign, type NPV, then double click NPV, open parenthesis, the discount rate which is 7.5%, comma, highlight all inflow values from year 1 to year 5, then close parenthesis. We have now the NPV formula result of 14,205,556.86. This is the net present value of all the inflow values. The initial investment or outflow is 14 million pesos. To get now the net present value, we will get the difference between NPV formula result and the initial investment. 14,205,556.86 minus 14 million pesos. Our NPV for Project B is 205,556.86. Now, for question on letter C, which project should be accepted? Using the payback period, we'll be accepting project B since it has a shorter period or payback period. If we will be using NPV as our basis for our decision, we will still be accepting project B since it has a higher NPV than project A. I hope this video has helped you analyze and answer your modified assessment. Happy learning!